Good morning, friend of mine. I am Pastor Hugh McKenzie, a pastor from the Seventh-day Adventist Church. A happy day to you and your loved ones. Every morning we share two chapters from the audio Bible narrated by Alexander Scorby and a devotional from one of the chapters shared. May you be spiritually blessed and refreshed as you listen. Please share the presentations so that someone else may be blessed. May God continue to bless you and your family as you listen every day. God bless you. Chapter 3 Then Eliashib the high priest rose up with his brethren the priests, and they built the sheep gate. They sanctified it and set up the doors of it. Even unto the tower of Mia they sanctified it, unto the tower of Hananiel. And next unto him builded the men of Jericho, and next to them builded Zachar the son of Imri. But the fish gate did the sons of Hassaneah build, who also laid the beams thereof, and set up the doors thereof, the locks thereof, and the bars thereof. And next unto them repaired Merimoth the son of Urijah the son of Koz. And next unto them repaired Meshullam the son of Berechiah the son of Meshezabeel. And next unto them repaired Zadok the son of Baana. And next unto them the Tekoites repaired. But their nobles put not their necks to the work of their lord. Moreover, the old gate repaired Jehoiada the son of Pasea, and Meshullam the son of Besodiah. They laid the beams thereof, and set up the doors thereof, and the locks thereof, and the bars thereof. And next unto them repaired Melatiah the Gibeonite, and Jadon the Moronothite, the men of Gibeon and of Mizpah, unto the throne of the governor on this side the river. Next unto him repaired Uzziel the son of Harhiah of the goldsmiths. Next unto him also repaired Ananiah the son of one of the apothecaries, and they fortified Jerusalem unto the broad wall. And next unto them repaired Rephiah the son of Hur, the ruler of the half part of Jerusalem. And next unto them repaired Jediah the son of Harumath, even over against his house. And next unto him repaired Hattush the son of Hashabniah. Melchijah the son of Herim, and Hashab the son of Pehath Moab repaired the other piece, and the tower of the furnaces. And next unto him repaired Shalom the son of Halohesh, the ruler of the half part of Jerusalem, he and his daughters. The valley gate repaired Hanan and the inhabitants of Zanoah. They built it and set up the doors thereof, the locks thereof, and the bars thereof, and a thousand cubits on the wall unto the dung gate. But the dung gate repaired Malchiah the son of Rechab, the ruler of part of beth Hakarim. He built it and set up the doors thereof, the locks thereof, and the bars thereof. But the gate of the fountain repaired Shalon the son of Kalhosi, the ruler of part of Mizpah. He built it and covered it, and set up the doors thereof, the locks thereof, and the bars thereof, and the wall of the pool of Siloa by the king's garden, and unto the stairs that go down from the city of David. After him repaired Nehemiah the son of Azbuk, the ruler of the half part of beth Zer, unto the place over against the sepulchres of David, and to the pool that was made, and unto the house of the mighty. After him repaired the Levites, Rehum the son of Bani. Next unto him repaired Hashabiah, the ruler of the half-part of Keilah, in his part. After him repaired their brethren, Bevei, the son of Hanadad, the ruler of the half-part of Keilah. And next to him repaired Ezer, the son of Jeshua, the ruler of Mizpah, another piece over against the going up to the armory at the turning of the wall. After him Baruch, the son of Zebei, earnestly repaired the other piece from the turning of the wall unto the door of the house of Eliashib, the high priest. After him repaired Merimoth the son of Urijah, the son of Koz, another piece, from the door of the house of Eliashib, even to the end of the house of Eliashib. And after him repaired the priests, the men of the plain. After him repaired Benjamin and Hashab over against their house. After him repaired Azariah the son of Maasiah, the son of Ananiah, by his house. After him repaired Binuai, the son of Hanadad, another piece, from the house of Azariah, unto the turning of the wall, even unto the corner. Palal, the son of Uzai, over against the turning of the wall, and the tower which lieth out from the king's high house, that was by the court of the prison. After him, Pediah, the son of Perosh. Moreover, the Nethinims dwelt in Ophel unto the place over against the water gate toward the east, and the tower that lieth out. After them, the Tekoites repaired another piece over against the great tower that lieth out, even unto the wall of Ophel. 
From above the horse gate repaired the priests, every one over against his house. After them repaired Zadok the son of Immer over against his house. After him repaired also Shemaiah the son of Shechaniah, the keeper of the east gate. After him repaired Hananiah the son of Shelemiah, and Hanan the sixth son of Zalaph, another piece. After him repaired Meshullam the son of Berechiah over against his chamber. After him repaired Malchiah the goldsmith's son unto the place of the Nethinims and of the merchants, over against the gate Mithcad, and to the going up of the corner. And between the going up of the corner unto the sheep gate repaired the goldsmiths and the merchants. Chapter 22 The Burden of the Valley of Vision What aileth thee now that thou art wholly gone up to the housetops? Thou that art full of stirs, a tumultuous city, a joyous city. Thy slain men are not slain with the sword, nor dead in battle. All thy rulers are fled together, they are bound by the archers. All that are found in thee are bound together, which have fled from far. Therefore said I, look away from me. I will weep bitterly. Labor not to comfort me because of the spoiling of the daughter of my people. For it is a day of trouble, and of treading down, and of perplexity by the Lord God of hosts in the valley of vision, breaking down the walls, and of crying to the mountains. And Elam bare the quiver with chariots of men and horsemen, and Kur uncovered the shield. And it shall come to pass that thy choicest valleys shall be full of chariots, and the horsemen shall set themselves in array at the gate. And he discovered the covering of Judah, and thou didst look in that day to the armor of the house of the forest. Ye have seen also the breaches of the city of David, that they are many. And ye gathered together the waters of the lower pool. And ye have numbered the houses of Jerusalem, and the houses have ye broken down to fortify the wall. Ye made also a ditch between the two walls for the water of the old pool. But ye have not looked unto the maker thereof, neither had respect unto him that fashioned it long ago. And in that day did the Lord God of hosts call to weeping, and to mourning, and to baldness, and to girding with sackcloth. And behold, joy and gladness, slaying oxen and killing sheep, eating flesh and drinking wine. Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we shall die. And it was revealed in mine ears by the Lord of hosts, Surely this iniquity shall not be purged from you till ye die, saith the Lord God of hosts. Thus saith the Lord God of hosts, Go, get thee unto this treasurer, even unto Shebna, which is over the house, and say, What hast thou here, and whom hast thou here, that thou hast hewed the outer sepulchre here, as he that heweth him outer sepulchre on high, and that graveth an habitation for himself in a rock? Behold, the Lord will carry thee away with a mighty captivity, and will surely cover thee. He will surely violently turn and toss thee like a ball into a large country. There shalt thou die, and there the chariots of thy glory shall be the shame of thy Lord's house. And I will drive thee from thy station, and from thy state shall he pull thee down. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will call my servant Eliakim the son of Hilkiah, and I will clothe him with thy robe, and strengthen him with thy girdle, and I will commit thy government into his hand, and he shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. And the key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder. So he shall open, and none shall shut, and he shall shut, and none shall open. And I will fasten him as a nail in a sure place, and he shall be for a glorious throne to his father's house. And they shall hang upon him all the glory of his father's house, the offspring and the issue, all vessels of small quantity, from the vessels of cups, even to all the vessels of flagons. In that day, said the Lord of hosts, shall the nail that is fastened in the sure place be removed and be cut down and fall. And the burden that was upon it shall be cut off, for the Lord hath spoken it. Today's message is entitled, The Message of the First Coming of Christ. The Message of the First Coming of Jesus. Let us pray. O God, our Heavenly Father, we pray that even now your Holy Spirit will speak to our hearts in Jesus' name, amen. Friend of mine, as Jesus traveled through Galilee, teaching and healing, multitudes flocked to him from the cities and the villages. Many came even from Judea and the adjoining provinces. Often he was obliged to hide himself from the people, 
You see, the enthusiasm ran so high that it was necessary to take precautions lest the Roman authorities should be aroused to fear an insurrection. Never before had there been such a period as this for the world. As it were, heaven was brought down to men, hungering and thirsting people that had waited long for the redemption of Israel, now feasted upon the grace of a merciful Savior. The gospel message as given by Jesus was based on the prophecies. You see, the time which he declared to be fulfilled was the period of time made known by the angel Gabriel to Daniel. Remember Jesus preached saying that the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand? That time that Jesus was speaking about there was the time period made known by the angel Gabriel to Daniel. That time period is found in Daniel chapter 9 and verse 25. The angel had declared, Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah the Prince shall be seven weeks and three score and two weeks. In other words, 69 weeks or 483 years. If we're dealing with the year-day principle, a day for a year, and we're looking at a 30 days month. So when you put it all together, the year-day principle, principle of each day representing a year, and each month of 30 days, when you put the figures together, seven weeks and three score, and two weeks or 69 weeks, it tallies up to 483 years. Now, the commandment to restore and build Jerusalem, as completed by the decree of Artaxerxes Longimanus, according to Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14, and Ezra chapter 7, verses 1 and 9, the commandment to restore and build Jerusalem as completed by the decree of Artaxerxes Longimanus, went into effect in the autumn of 457 BC. So, from this time of the command to restore and to rebuild Jerusalem, from this time period, counting 483 years, that time would extend to the autumn of AD 27. AD 27. And according to the prophecy, this period was to reach to the Messiah, the Anointed One. And so, friend of mine, in AD 27, Jesus, at his baptism, received the anointing of the Holy Spirit and soon afterward began his ministry. Then the message was proclaimed, the time is fulfilled. The time that Daniel spoke about when he says that from the command to restore and to rebuild Jerusalem, 62 weeks afterwards would reach to the Messiah, the Prince. So when Christ came as the Messiah, he announced that time is fulfilled. The Messiah is here. And so the time of Christ's coming, his anointing by the Holy Spirit, his death and the giving of the gospel to the Gentiles were definitely pointed out were definitely pointed out. According to 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 11, Peter says, The Spirit of Christ, which was in them, the prophets, testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow. So, friend of mine, as the message of Christ's first coming announced the kingdom of His grace, the kingdom where He is accepting Whosoever will may come and accept him as Lord and Savior, they call that time the kingdom of his grace. As the message of Christ's first coming as a babe in Bethlehem announced the kingdom of his grace, so the message of his second coming announces the coming of the kingdom of his glory. When Christ will come in power and might and the glory of his, the blinding brilliance of his presence, when he will take his people to heaven, that time will be 
the kingdom of his glory. Jesus announces his second coming in that beloved promise of John 14, 1 to 3. The Bible says, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, Jesus says, Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. O friend of mine, may this promise help to guide our lives as we live from day to day. The message of the kingdom of God, that one of these days the kingdom of glory will burst upon us, and we must get ready and stay ready for yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. And so, as we prepare to meet Jesus when he comes, may we always remember the message of Revelation chapter 14 and verse 6. The Bible says, And I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, God's messengers, saying with a loud voice, Fear God, and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come. And worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea, and the fountains of waters. O friend of mine, as we prepare for the coming of Christ, let us remember that even now God is judging, reviewing the record of our lives to see whether or not we qualify for a place in heaven or hell. Let us remember, secondly, that if we know the judge, Jesus, and our lawyer, Jesus, we have no need to fear in the judgment because the judge is on our side if we know him and if we serve him oh friend of mine why not today say jesus make me ready for when your kingdom of glory your second coming will burst upon us why not fall on your knees or in the quiet of your mind reach out to god and say lord prepare me for your soon coming let us pray dear god be with us now as we launch out into this day May we go with your presence, consciously preparing every day by living for you, for your soon coming is our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen.